that what even relegated to the back of the room? No, I'm just trying to blend in. <laughs> <laughs> you had said this morning that they're a, a painful team to play against. How painful were they for that team? Watch. It's just. It's hard to get through the neutral zone. They forecheck you hard. They hit. They got big D when you're down there. They kind of smother you when you're in the offensive zone. And uh, so I mean, like they they're a tough team to play against. And uh, as we talked to our guys today, they thought it was pivotal that we had to get the lead, and we did that. So you know, you play a little bit more confidence, I guess, when you do have the, the lead. You're not chasing it as much. And uh, when we did break down a little bit, um, I guess, you know, they probably got some blind share of their good chances around the power play. And uh, no Bish was there to make the saves. He, he made a huge one on Atkinson on the slap pass tip. Uh, you know, the advantages of having an oversized goalie in there. That was a big save uh, for us. And he's, he's been making those, in those tight games. He, he's been making those big saves, just like the other night in Detroit when he makes the breakaway save on Sheehan and those are saves you need your goalies to make at crucial times and uh, Big Bish has been doing that for us. Say, we know the year he had last year obviously has kept you in so many games. Has this play been overshadowed a little bit because of where you guys are at because of all the scoring depth that we talk about all the time. Does this play get overlooked at least on the outside? Um, I don't know if it gets overlooked. I think uh, he's it's a different year. We're a different team. Uh, we, uh, I don't know. Like, it's hard to compare the, the last year to this year. Everybody was. We were. Just, we were a transition team last year, and uh, we probably. You know, we give up less shots, less chances this year. Um, maybe a little bit of our goal scoring, as you said, has overshadowed it. But ultimately, you know, he's got twenty-five wins or so, twenty-six wins, and. Get that by fluke, and I think uh, it, maybe some of the games that have gone bad have gone really bad. But overall, you look at the big picture; um, he's been rock solid for us. Uh, I think the emergence of Johnny Black, Cooch, uh, the fact that we've got a bunch of new guys on our team probably shifts some of the focus away from him. Uh, maybe that's the case, but uh, you still got to rely on the guy in the, between the pipes to help you win games. And, he did last year for us, and he's doing it again. John Paquette is doing his best job of taking the spotlight away from the two of them. Well, I think that's been kind of the MO here a little bit. Uh, we were just talking about how you know, Johnny and Cooch and Platt haven't been on the scoreboard of late, but hard pressed to say they weren't the best line on the ice. And uh, I thought, you know, when it was one nothing in the third period, they changed the course of the game. They had a couple shifts, and it was they had a dominant shift. For 60 seconds, and as soon as they got off the ice, we went down and scored. And um, but guys like Cedric, he's got the hot stick right now, and they're going in for him. But he's earned these breaks for me. I just like, I think everybody coming up. Um, you, know, you look at Phil Callahan and Stammer; they've been doing this for a long time. And, and uh, you know, when you've been doing it for a long time, it's sometimes a chic thing to look for. Well, who's the up and coming guys, and um, we're getting that. We're getting strong efforts from uh, a lot of different players, and it's uh, you need that to win. You need the depth. You just can't rely on one line game in and game out.